I'm just gonna get right into it. No intro today. Super Mario World is still amazing. <laughs> Looking back at this game, it was incredibly obvious why this was the launch title for the Super NES. Right when you boot up the game, just the colors pop out of the screen, flexing that new and improved color palette of the Super NES. And if that wasn't enough, they start playing that bop of a main menu song that would have never been possible on the original NES. And to top it all off, they have a little preview of what you're gonna be in for, showing off the best character in any video game, Yoshi. Overall, just the main menu, mm, mwah. Okay, um, I guess we should start talking about the actual game, and uh, I mean, it, it's, it's alright, I guess. I don't know if this is a hot take or not, it seems like it's a pretty 50-50 split amongst the public eye, but Super Mario World is better than Super Mario Bros. 3. Okay, I'm just saying it. It's better in every aspect. The graphics are better, the mechanics are more interesting and varied, the bosses, I mean, the enemies in general are just more interesting and varied, platforming is more precise, and I don't know why, some people are like, you know, I like Super Mario World more, but Super Mario Bros. 3 has better power-ups, and I don't know what, you, what are you inhaling, because the, the, and they mentioned the tanuki feather, or the tanuki leaf or whatever, it's the same thing as the, the cape feather. It's the same exact thing, they both do the same thing, if you run a little bit, and then if you're running for a while and then jump, you'll fly. If you press Y, and you, you'll spin around, hit an enemy, like, they do the same exact thing. And then Super Mario World also has, like, the most underrated Mario power ever. It was very unutilized in Mario World, uh... It's the, the P balloon or whatever, and it makes Mario fat, and he just flies around like that. You know, you're not gonna get that in Super Mario Bros. 3. So yeah, world, much better than 3. I, I don't know, I don't know why people like 3 more. Alright, back on top, back on top, okay. Uh, Super Mario World, it, 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 its gameplay has not aged a single bit. It is just so good, It is it is as good as it was 33 years ago. It is just pure fun. It only takes like 10 minutes of you playing the game before you're already humming those brainwashingly catchy songs created by Koji Kondo, the man, the myth, the legend. He's made music for... Super Mario Bros. 2, 3, Her World, A Link to the Past, Star Fox, Yoshi's Island, Super Mario 64, Star Fox 64, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Super Mario Sunshine, Zelda Wind Waker, uh, New Super Mario Bros., Zelda Twilight Princess, Mario Galaxy, Smash Bros. Brawl, Galaxy 2, Skyward Sword, 3D World, Super, Mar Super Smash Bros., Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, Super Mario Maker, Super Mario Odyssey, Smash Bros. Ultimate, Super Mario Maker 2. He is just the man. If you want a good soundtrack in your video game, just call this guy up. The music is just such a core part of Super Mario World, like, try to play the game on mute while listening to, like, some generic pop music, it's impossible. You're physically incapable of doing it, you know, humans have just not evolved enough to do that yet. I don't, no one has done it, don't even try. I, believe me, I have. I passed out, actually, two seconds after, and I, I woke up in, um, an abandoned, uh, where- There's so many items in this game that have just never seen the light of day since the game. They haven't had any return to the franchise at all. I like, like, the three up moon, like, what is this? I've played through this game, like, twice now. I, I haven't even seen these. Apparently there's only one in each world. I, I don't even know. I don't know what that is. And, uh, the cape feather, like I was talking about earlier, you know, even though, yeah, I did, I did say it's the same as the tanuki leaf. And it is, but except it's cooler, because it's a cape, and capes are cooler than fursuits. <laughs> you know how in other Mario games you'll, you'll see Koopas with like different colored shells? But the, the different colors, they don't matter at all, they do the same thing, but in this game, it actually matters, and it's cool. I don't know why they haven't brought this back into any other Mario game, but... Like, if Yoshi eats a red shell, he gets to spit out fireballs. Where if he eats, um, uh, I think it's a blue shell, he, he gets to fly, and, like, that, that's so cool, Lord, why, why don't you put this in other games, Nintendo? I don't, I don't know what you're, what you're doing. Also, the spin jump. Where is the spin jump, Nintendo? Well, where is this? It's such a cool little thing, it's like, if you spin jump when you're Big Mario, you can, like, 
break certain blocks. You can like uh, bounce on top of spikes and stuff with the spin jump. Like, why it hasn't this returned in any Mario game? It's such a cool little mechanic, and it's just it's such a small inclusion too. Like, you could have put this in like any Mario game, and it would have fit perfectly with it because it's so small. But it's it's such a nice little small thing, you know. And speaking of small things, we gotta talk about the bad stuff, the stuff that hasn't aged so well. Okay. And I, I was not going to make a penis joke. <clears throat> this game is aged perfectly. <laughs> it, it just, it has. And I'll get into my little gripes later, but... Like, I don't have any nostalgia for this game. I'm a little baby. I wasn't around when it first came out. But I do have some, you know, very small nitpicks that just attribute to the game, you know, being older now, just aging. Like, secrets in this game. Like, I know the whole point of secrets is, you know, to be secret, but at times it feels like they're, they're being too secret <laughs> about them. Because I played this through this game twice, and I still have only found, like, a couple things I would consider a secret. They're just very hidden, and they were obviously made for, you know, back 30 years ago when kids are, you know, on the playground and they're like, Hey man, did you find that secret in Mario World? And they're like exchanging stuff, but we don't do that anymore. We're burly chested men. Okay, we don't have time for the playground telling each other little cheat codes or whatever. No, we use, we use TikTok and walk on milk crates and drink bleach. You know, that's the kind of people we are. You know, we, we steal soap dispensers from school, okay? Well, I don't have any time for exchanging, you know, tips on video games, okay? I'm exchanging kidneys with my with my uncle because uh, I ate too much borax yesterday. <laughs> Jokes aside, though, there really isn't much wrong with the game besides those just very hard to find secrets. The only the only two things that are just from the game aging that are kind of bad is just time limits and lives. But that just seems like it's a Nintendo thing that they just even today they still do that. Um, with the new, the new Mario game, Super Mario Wonder, there's no time limit on levels, at, at least it appears. But they still have lives for some reason. I don't know why they're still doing lives, because in Mario Odyssey, they fixed the whole life system perfectly. Because all, li all losing all your lives does is just boot you out of the level, and then you load back in the level, <laughs> and then everything's fine. Like, like, they do nothing. It doesn't build tension or anything, it's just like... Yep, yep, I lost all my lives, time to wait, you know, 30 seconds until I can play again. It's just a waste of time, but in Mario Odyssey, all that happens is just, if you lo if you die, you just respawn, and it takes 10 coins away, that's it. <laughs> and it, it was so perfect, so I don't know why they just don't do that with this game, but I understand the 2D Mario games, they work I, differently than the 3D ones, but still, I, it's... I don't know, man. Super Mario World 30 years later still stands as a timeless classic. I will be telling my grandchildren about this and they will be telling their grandchildren about this. It will outlive everyone on this planet. In 5000 AH, the aliens coming down and then uh, they'll, they'll find this game and they'll be like, huh? Yeah, Super Mario World, huh? Just pop this in the old. Game Station 7 Flip. And then, and then it'll outlive them, and then the cycle continues. Super Mario World S++ rating. Go play this game if you haven't. There was a total of three nitpicks I have, and they are all very, very small. Everything else is good, so go play the game. It has the charm, it has the gameplay, it has the music. Mm-hmm. So go play it. What are you doing? What are you doing right now? <laughs> I know you're watching this on your day off, John. Okay, <laughs> so go ahead and play, play the play the game. Bye.
the thing is, like, it's it's not even my favorite Mario game. <laughs> it's that's like number five. I guess I gotta make videos on all all every single other one now.